Hello everyone and welcome back to the Whims Legacy where we have just received a blessing from the sea and a trick from Tata all in one blow. Oh my goodness. This is so awesome! All right, everyone. Well, we are carrying on with the Whims Legacy. You guys should know by now what it's all about, how we use random generators to determine everything from how many nichelings we are allowed per tribe, uh, or I should say per generation. Right now, the tribe can be up to nine nichelings and no more. And even where we go, each island that we pick, what genes we can choose, all of that nonsense. And we are currently experiencing a little bit of an amazing moment, uh, even even though there is indeed a Berina currently trying to eat one of our nichelings and we have some sicknesses flying around. I can't remember if this little guy is sick. I don't think he is. Thank goodness. Um, oh my goodness. There's just so much going on and this is so exciting. But we're picking up right where we left off and where we left off was... Um, is Ismi appearing from the sea and blowing me out of the water even though she is in the water or blowing me into the water, I suppose? Maybe I should say that. She's tossed me straight into the water in shock because this is a wandering female who is young and she has water body. She is short-sighted. She does have one uh, deformed paw that she won't really be able to do much with. She doesn't have the highest fertility, but she has water body and she is female. And that is very important to us right now because all of the next generation that we have so far who is really blowing me away with how amazing their genes are happen to be male. And I have renamed a whole bunch of our youngest nichelings. So let me go ahead and reintroduce you to some of them. Uh, well, our current leader, our, both our tribe leader and our main character is Kior, who always wanted to leave this island and explore the the waterways, but never really had a chance because he didn't really have a lot of nichelings to explore with. And he has a very persuasive, inspirational personality and that is also very judgmental. So he kind of always looked down a little bit on, well, a lot on, and ignored nichelings who couldn't swim the way that he could because he is very reckless and he loves diving into the waters. He could really care less about the dramas that goes on on land. He wants to adventure on the very edges of where the waters can take him and always dreamed that it would be his destiny to leave this island and just go from island to island to island. But unfortunately, he didn't have enough nichelings to go with him as a tribe uh, when he was younger and he is unfortunately getting a little bit older only three days left no and he has had amazing children we have Gotai uh, over here who is his eldest Gotai is also the child of Sorako and he is the eldest he has webbed hind legs he has got fishing tail and water body this is a water creature perfected he can fish Fish, he can fight and he can swim and he can do it all while breathing underwater. He is absolutely amazing. He also has, I think, a half brother. No, he has a, a, like a distant cousin named Shelly, uh, who didn't used to be named Shelly. They've all gotten some new names. So apologies if that's a little confusing. We have to do the name ceremony between episodes. Otherwise, we would open up the family tree and reveal the hidden genes, which would just be... A travesty. We can't have that. But yes, Shelly Shelly needs some attention, so I'll take care of Shelly in just a second. If I move, then we might lose is is me. I have to bring her into the tribe, but we're at max tribe members, so I can't just yet. This is getting kind of tense. Um, but we have Shelly over here who is another water body creature. So two young water body males who finally can help Kior live up his dream of swimming with swarms and schools of other nichelings in his tribe, uh, making a big school that can just swim through the waters and conquer them and explore from island to island. Imagine being able to collect up all of the genetics that we need to still unlock in our legacy, like our, our little whims mutation challenge. Unlocking all of these, how cool would that be if we were able to do that without even having to set foot, very much at least, on the lands of the islands that we traveled to? That would be kind of amazing. 
So that was always Kaori's dream. And at this rate, hopefully Gotai and Shelly will be able to carry it on. And we also have new Tum uh, Tumbiwa. And Tumbiwa, who has a very interesting name that, that rolled up from our gigantic niche name list that you guys have helped us to create. But Tumbiwa over here is also a great swimmer. He is another fantastic swimmer. Unfortunately, he is currently sick. I don't think he has doubled up immunity. I think he got sick from Dukla. So I renamed this guy finally. The Nishling after my own heart. I love him and I am so, 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 so sad that he is unfortunately old enough uh, and sick enough that we are about to lose him because he is one of the most beautiful Nishlings I have ever had, ever. And I really want him to have some babies. Uh, this is actually his son. And so this is his son, Coast. I really like this young one and I did mess up last time I apologize you guys some of you did catch it I needed to give mutations to Dukla and I did not before Coast was born so I apologize for that I have given him mutations now if I can manage to snag just even one more one more baby from him would be amazing um, but we I chose high fertility and then the Nishling gods chose for him gills believe it or not I was quite tickled when that was what the random generator picked for the genes that we could give to him. So that's where we're at right now. We also have Star currently pregnant with Dukla's child as well. So hopefully we'll get some more mixing of those genes. I kind of have to start pulling at some genes here, pulling at some genes there, crossing our paws that hopefully we will end up with useful paws and claws as well as healthy immunity. And then finally we have Minute. And Minute is in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Manute not only has doubled up immunity, but um, he also is currently the attention of this Spirina, and we haven't been able to poison the Spirina, we haven't been able to fight the Spirina. I'm not really sure what we're going to be able to do with the Spirina, but I do need to fight him. I'm just not sure how that is going to be accomplished. So I think we're going to begin today. We're going to begin today by getting Tambuiwa over here as a brave, bold, young thing to lead the fight, maybe. So let's get his dad over. Kior is going to hear the cry of his mate, Sorako. Uh, I think he'd be a little confused and just think that Coast was his son, because Coast does look a lot like his potential child. But we're going to send Kior flying across the way. He's so slow on land, so uh, excuse me, flopping across the way to try to join them. Um, we're going to have Sorako desperately cry out no and like try to save Dukla and Dukla leave her with a child, thank goodness, um, leave her with one last child as he bravely jumps forward to try to fight off. Oh, hello, Isis. Uh, that's kind of funny. We have Is, is me and Isis. Maybe they're related. Mother and daughter. Who knows? This is getting pretty crowded and awesome over here. But I like the idea that Dukla refuses to allow Sorako to like risk herself and pushes her out of the way so that she can stay over here. Uh, meanwhile, Kior is like, I am coming and like flopping across the grass to try to get involved in this. Tambuiwa might jump over to see what's going on. He's young, he's fierce. He kind of feels that fighting is already in his blood and he is ready to go. Uh, Star is going to be like trying to dig a nest and keep an eye on things. We'll We'll go ahead and have Gotai possibly bump into to the sides, bump into, uh, let's see. Well, if Gotai come over, I really need Is Ismi in our tribe so badly. Let's pull over here, and I think, yeah, Dukla is, a gonna, is going to pass away by tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and let, let Star have her baby? I'm gonna go ahead and let Star have her baby then. We'll say the appearance of the Berina has startled her into, uh, into like her pregnancy kicking in, uh, and Shelly needs Tinded because I forgot that he actually has 
<laughs> he actually has some issues going on. He's got a leech. I need to take care of him. And then Sorako is still just like startled and desperate not to see Dukla, who she has truly fallen in love with, go. But unfortunately, it is his time on top of trying to prevent her from being eaten by the Barina. And her sons gather around to also defend their mother. And... Oh, I'm so sad right now! Oh no, not my best Nishling! You jerk! Oh my gosh, no! Oh my goodness, this is this is getting pretty I oh my goodness. Okay, hang on here. Uh Minute is going to do his best to poison this darn thing. Oh my gosh, not Gotai. Not Gotai. We're going to heal him up. He is going to unleash some true fury. Uh Tambuiwa is going to come over and like help out. Oh my goodness. Coast can breathe underwater so we can like toss him into the off the cliff to be like stay safe in the water sun. And Sorako, heartbroken, is going to drag herself over into the nest, I think. Uh, and she's going to do that because she she really is just like <laughs> desperately sad as I am that we have lost Dukla. Oh, such a tragedy. All right, and Shelly, you do need some attention. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I want to keep an eye on Izizmi. We need to invite her into the tribe. Star only has two days left and she has just given birth to an amazing baby <laughs> who I think has doubled up immunity, unfortunately, and is not meant for this tribe. However, she has beautiful looks and looks so much like Siri from the last island. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow, so she's got fluffy tail. She's kind of got that beautiful mask patterning on her face um, And she looks very amazing, but I don't think she is meant for this island And I feel like star is getting too old to have any more children So she may decide to stay and protect her baby So I think what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and release star now So let's go ahead and release her and we're going to imagine that she is keeping an eye on her baby, Lasimi. And we'll release Lasimi as soon as we can. And let's go ahead. Shelly still needs attention. We still need to keep an eye on Is Ismi so she doesn't get away. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to have Kiora kind of head off Is Ismi. Oh, and there's a little crabbit they could do battle with. That would be so cool. And then I'll have Shelly jump down here. I think he is quite enchanted with Is Ismi. And we're going to go ahead... And we are going to remove the parasite and take care of Shelly as soon as we can. We, oh, and I wonder, can we actually mate with Is Ismi? Even though we are not currently, I think we can? Oh, it didn't work. So I think he's like enchanted with her and trying to like uh, wave his big fluffy tail, his big stinky tail around. I guess that wouldn't be very enchanting actually. <laughs> to have him like walk up and be like, Hello, is is me and just like wave his stinky tail in the air. I think that that would explain why she's just gonna leave because <laughs> that would really stink. That's hilarious. All right, well, let's see what we're going to do next. I'm running out of time on Kior. I need to possibly have another child with him. I need is is me because it doesn't seem like Lasimi is going to help me very much when it comes to breeding, and we're about to be out of females. Oh boy. Oh. My gosh! Oh! <laughs> what a legacy he left! What a legacy he left! And what an obvious sign that this is definitely not the child of Kior. Well then. Uh, Alright, uh, and Mute, I think we're gonna go ahead and release you, my friend. We're gonna let you free. So that you two can start heading out into the world. I'm going to have him jump over and release him. There we go. We definitely need is Izmi to join us, please. I'm going to have Shelly follow her as soon as... Uh, I think... Can I have the baby help out? I cannot. Coast, can you actually help out? There you go. Coast is taking care of this guy who just got bleached. Ah, it's Kior. Okay. And I'm at eight. Eight nichelings. So I'm going to have Shelly jump over and invite into the tribe the beautiful in his eyes is Ismi. And we're going to bring her down here so that they can start working on maybe doing some crabbit hunting or something. And I'm going to have Shelly come over and I'm going to have Gotai come over because I think that all of my young males and now, now Tambuiwa is also healthy. 
I think all of my young males would be a little bit distracted with the beautiful new Is Ismi. So they would be keeping an eye on her. And little do they know that we now have Anakosi, who is absolutely beautiful. I am quite enchanted with her, and she is not unhealthy. And Sorako can jump over. Mm. Oh dear, I need to be careful. Okay, you need to scoot over little Asimi, and we're gonna scoot you out of the tribe as soon as you're old enough. I think she's still too young. And we're gonna have Kior jump up, finally, <laughs> to try to figure out how he can he can help take care of his mate. It is his last day of life, so we can go ahead and let him have one more child, one more child together, and Kior will stare at this little <laughs> adorable purple baby in confusion but coast definitely it looks like it could be his child and Sorako is going to actually have quite a long life to kind of think about things even though she won't have the mate of her heart with her Dukla anymore which is so sad all right Kior you have been fantastic I think that even though he wasn't able to go on the kind of adventures he really thought he would be able to, jumping from island to island, he has started this tribe off on those, those that foot more than, or should I say that fin, he actually has, um, that fin more than anyone else has. He has pursued his dreams more actively and with more ambition and recklessness than any of our other nichelings ever have. So I definitely think hats off to him. And I I am going to miss Kior a lot and now I must pick before he passes on who the next nicheling will be. I think I'll let myself pick um I think I will let myself pick next day after Kior passes away just to see what Sor Soraka and Kior's last child will be. So then I also have to roll to see how many nichelings we get to have and that might make things really interesting because if it's only like three I don't know if I'll want to leave the island. So let's see what happens. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, little guy. Oh, no. And we have Mikomi, and she is a sickly nicheling. Kior, goodbye. Oh, that makes me sad. Okay. I choose, out of all of the current nichelings available, out of everybody we've got and everything they've got, I choose Gotai. Gotalai. Uh, Gotali. Go 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 Gotali. There we go. I choose Gotali. I choose Gotali. He has all of the traits I want in my my water nichelings for the whims. I think he's amazing. Uh, I I have a, a female that we could keep with him because tribe size can only shrink down to two from now on. I guess actually, if it shrinks down to two, I only get to keep a female, don't I? Mm, that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> That's going to be very interesting indeed. Um, in fact, I guess I need to roll. To, if that's the case, then I automatically have to choose a female. 16! <gasps> yes! We could have 16 members in the tribe! I am so happy right now. That is the biggest tribe we have been able to have in so long. And you know what I'm going to do with it? I'm going to go island hopping with a bunch of water body creatures. Yes! 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 Okay, I'm happy now. Alright, well, what are we gonna do? I am going to have Little Coast come over and join everyone. Gotai, uh, Gotali, let's see what his personality is going to randomize as well. I need to roll his personality to see. Random personality generator. Because upon inheriting the position of the main character of our Nishling tribe, um, then the, the Nishling gods bestow upon him three traits, rather like that beautiful opening scene of Sleeping Beauty, but without, hopefully, Tata, the evil fairy godmother, appearing and giving him a curse as well. That'd be kind of interesting if eventually we play the whims for so long, we start giving them bigger blessings and curses. That would actually be kind of cool, but that'll come into play later. Later. Anyway, Gotali, uh, Gotali is going to be decisive, considerate, and easygoing. So that is actually pretty cool. Decisive, considerate, and easygoing are good traits to work with. And I think he would be considerate of the fact that the tribe is kind of still kind of young, but uh, it might behoove them to go on some adventures and that he should possibly try to only take water body creatures with him. Uh, also that his mother is kind of grieving and possibly wants to stay near the bones of her two, her two mates and that his sister, oh dang it, she's water bodied. <sighs> I don't know if I could leave behind Mikomi now. I was gonna leave her behind, but I don't know if I can. And if Lasimi is here, 
even if she's sickly, she might have an immunity that matches. But we have is is me, and she might be good too. So let's see. We have nine nieslings. I think we're gonna jump to the next island. I think that's what we're going to do, and we're going to take everybody with us, and we'll just kind of see where things go from there. But let's get this. Let's get this crab at first. There we go. And we'll have everybody just kind of swim around for a minute or two. And Gotali, we'll have you swim around for a minute. And we'll get Coast up here. And yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We will we will endeavor to try to have all of the nichelings be able to come with us. I will go ahead and have Lasimi stay as well. Like she'll she'll come with us just in case, just in case, since we can take everybody. And Sorako might be the only nicheling that I actually leave behind. I did not mean to leave her sitting on top of her baby. That was a mistake. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and we'll have Gotali kind of like swim around. Yes, it's a giant Razorina fish. Unfortunately, Is Ismi is not strong enough to get it. But maybe she can help keep it trapped over here. And the guys can get it next turn. So, oh, in fact, Shelly should be able to help get it. Come on, Shelly. Oh, so close. I'm sure we can we can all hunt it together. That'll be fantastic. All right. Phew. Wow. All right. Well, hopefully Gotali's reign will last quite a while. And my next goal is to get all of the young nichelings onto the flower port to possibly let Sarako just stay here and stay with the bones of her beloved and hopefully keep that toxic body mixed in pretty fun with some of the genes we have going on. And who knows, maybe Lasimi will end up being an unexpected mother uh, to several wonderful water bearing creatures, or she might even help keep an important land-based line of the Wim's legacy going to help us to collect up all of the various mutations that we are going after. So we'll have to see next time and I will see you guys then. Bye-bye!